Good morning. It is time to wake up. Welcome to my brand new morning routine. I always start my day with checking my phone. I usually wake up between 5 to 6.30 in the morning. Since I moved to LA, I have to wake up earlier in order to make sure that I can talk with my intern who works for me for my stationary workshop. And because we have a 9 hour time zone difference, this means that throughout the week I have to wake up very early. But I've actually been really enjoying waking up this early because I've been more productive and I'm able to finish my whole to-do list before the end of the day. I spent some time checking all my emails, making sure everything is going well with my webshop, talking to my friends and family and checking my Instagram. If you want to know more about me and my life, then definitely follow me there. My username is lilylightcom. The next thing I like to do is get out of bed and drink some hot water with lemon. Since I wake up very early and I usually also don't sleep that much, I love to wake up my immune system with this hot water and lemon. Lemons are packed with vitamin C, B-complex vitamins, calcium, iron, magnesium and potassium. back into bed and do some editing. This is one of my favorite things about being self-employed. Your bed can transform into your office if you're not in a mood to get out of your PJs. However, I don't like to spend my whole morning in bed, so after working on a video for a while, I get out of bed and I make my bed. I also always use some room spray at the end of my making my bed session because it feels like a little reward after my very hard work. Just kidding. Recently I've been really getting into yoga. Since I moved to LA I've been obsessed with going to yoga. I really like how it makes me feel physically but also mentally. So I love to add a yoga session in the morning. You can either do yoga at home, but I love going to Alo Yoga Studio in the Grove. It is a beautiful studio and the people there are so nice and friendly, so I would highly recommend checking it out. After coming back from yoga, it is time to refresh myself, aka take a shower. I love transforming a simple shower routine into more of a self-care moment by lighting a scented candle, as well as using some essential oils that I drip on my shower floor. The steam of the shower as well as the essential oil together really give me some aromatherapy. When it comes to my hair, I really like to take care of it. I used to have very long and healthy hair. But three years ago, I damaged my hair due to an excess of coloring. The shampoo and conditioner that I've recently been using is from Function of Beauty and they are so kind to sponsor this part of the video. The reason why I wanted to team up with this hair care brand is because I wanted to show you guys how cool their concept is. Because Function of Beauty creates custom shampoo and conditioners for your hair type and your hair goals. They create a unique formula for your unique hair. And as someone who always felt like her hair was untamable, unmanageable, and very different from your typical hair types, this came as a godsend. They use natural ingredients, are animal friendly, and they contain no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and are 100% vegan and cruelty free. You can take a two minute quiz and fill out your hair type, hair goals, and personalized preference. And then you can choose the color of the bottles as well as the fragrance. And I personally love the scent All You Eucalyptus. 
It smells so refreshing and I feel like it really suits my scalp. I also love the fact that as an icy blonde, this shampoo and conditioner is purple, so it really tones my hair and combats yellow and brassy tones. I genuinely think that this is such a great shampoo and conditioner. Click on the link in the description box down below to get 20% off your order. And currently Functional Beauty is available in the US, Canada, Great Britain, EU, Australia, New Zealand and Singapore. <laughs> because it makes me feel very relaxed and at peace. One of the other things I do once or twice a week is self tan my body. My favorite self tanner is from Saint-Tropez and I love the purity line because it is very natural and it doesn't really stain any of my clothes. After self tanning and doing my skincare routine, I quickly apply my makeup. time to dry my hair. I just casually blow dry my hair, I don't do anything in particular. And after blow drying it, I section it off in kind of messy sections. And then I use a one inch and a quarter curling iron by Kristen S to curl my hair. I also love to add some hair oil as well as some shine mist to really ensure that my hair is looking healthy and shiny. The next thing I do is pick out my outfit for the day. I've been obsessed with this really cute tube piece that I got from In The Style. I think it looks so different and unique and I've been loving wearing it. No outfit is complete without some perfume. And this is maybe a bit extra, but I love to use a regular perfume for my body and then a hair perfume for my hair. Now that I got ready, it is time to get some food into my system. I'm not a big breakfast eater, especially this early in the morning. So one of the things that I really like to do is to eat blueberries with some almond butter. It's super easy, but it definitely keeps me full. However, a real breakfast idea that I also have been loving doing is to create my own veggie burger salad. I create a salad with kale, spinach and arugula, add some cherry tomatoes, the veggie burger, as well as some avocado and vegan mozzarella cheese. And you have yourself a very yummy breakfast. mornings can be very stressful. You rush to go to work or to school and ever since I graduated and started working for myself full-time I wanted to really focus on creating a more positive attitude and mindset for myself. So that is why I started setting today's intentions. I write in my Supplied by Lily notebook. Usually I write about three intentions that I want to set. I was inspired by the intentions that I had to set in my yoga class and I wanted to continue this practice every day in my morning.
Now it is really time to get to work. I cannot start any day without checking my Supplied by Lily Lifestyle Desk Planner. Without this thing, I would be lost and I would have forgotten every important deadline that I had. I use it to schedule out my days and my weeks and after I finish doing that, as well as finishing out my to-do list, it is time to actually do the work. And that's the end of my new morning routine. Whenever I start a day like this, I feel very productive and motivated. Of course, there are days that I don't start my morning like this, but whenever I do, I feel great. So I would highly recommend trying this morning routine out for yourself. Guys, we arrived at the end. Hope you guys found it inspiring or helpful or motivating. Whenever I start my mornings like this, I always feel so positive and motivated and just ready to start the day. So I would highly recommend incorporating this into your morning routine as well. If you guys want me to do a nighttime routine as well, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if we hit the 4,000 likes, the 4,000 thumbs up, um, I will definitely film that video for you. Also, if you have any other suggestions for new videos or stuff like that, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I always love reading your, you know, suggestions, recommendations. I always really appreciate everyone commenting down below and I love interacting and responding to your guys' comments too. And last but not least, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel because that means so much to me. And um, yeah, that's everything that I wanted to say. Routine videos always take me such a long time to film because I want them to be very aesthetically pleasing. But I really hope you guys can see the effort and the time I put into the editing and the filming. Um, so yeah, I guess that's everything. And uh, I will have linked all the products that I use in the description box down below, as well as um, the outfit that I'm wearing. And um, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram too. If you want to keep up with what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, definitely check out my Instagram and my stories. So that's everything that I wanted to say. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye guys. Scrub is a